Hey folks, Greg Cock here, Craft Music, beautiful Franklin, Wisconsin. And I am plugged into this Fishman Tone Deck. And uh, it's kind of funny, when I first got this pedal, they hadn't told me what it was called, and I think I called it the, hey, I'm really enjoying the Tone DQ. But you know, sometimes I'm a little slow. But it's Tone Deck, and let that be a lesson to all of us. Uh, what I really like about this device is, is that it has the effects on it that you would find on a loud box amplifier that Fishman makes has two banks of effects, uh, one that's more reverb and delay oriented, another one that is more modulation oriented with two different choruses, a flanger and a, a tremolo, but it also has a really usable compressor. Compression is something, as an electric guitar player, I don't really like to use a whole lot of because I find that it, for me, it mitigates my dynamic control uh, with electric guitar. A lot of people love to use it, and hey, different strokes for different folks, but I find that with acoustic guitar, Compression seems to add um, uh, talent, really, to your playing. It, seems to, it just seems to uh, squish everything in a way that makes the, the lighter strings a little bit more the same volume as the lower strings, hence the word compression. Uh, so it just makes it a little um, easier to engage, especially if you're primarily an electric guitar player and you want to play a little bit of acoustic and not feel like you're completely fish out of water. Adding a little bit of compression can help. And the compressor on this device is really, really useful. Um, it's very transparent. Um, it's, it's almost like it, I feel it more than you hear it, as, as the case may be. It's like a, uh, a performance-enhancing drug. <laughs> well, that sounded weird, but I think you know what I mean. So in addition to just being a really good sounding analog preamp. It also has the compressor on board. It has the effects as I spoke to, has a three band EQ, but it also has a boost feature, which is very usable as well. You can set what you want it to be, but that allows you to have like a little bit of a solo gain enhancement that you're, you're playing along. Say you're around the campfire, you're plugged in at the campfire, maybe with your loud box mini charge. You're using this device as well. And you wanna all of a sudden break out ahead of the pack when you're playing Kumbaya and engage in some single string skullduggery, you can press that boost button and away you go. Uh, so let's just kind of go through this thing so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, on this first bank, as you can see, I have the light on. It's just a nice little, just a nice reverb. A couple different reverbs on there that sound good. Now, just for the purposes of us hearing what the compression sounds like, I'm going to just, I've got the compressor right now at about 12 o'clock. I'm going to turn it down to nothing so you can hear what it sounds like. Put the compressor on about halfway up. very useful for the single note stuff, but I'll turn it off. Up about halfway. It just makes it easier for me as a player to play it, and I, have to play, I don't have to dig in quite as hard on the acoustic to be able to hear that stuff when I put the compression up a little bit, okay? Let's hear what a little bit of the delay sounds like here on that first layer of effects or the first bar. So I'm now gonna just engage a little bit of the delay. I got the level about halfway up. You can mess where the delay is at. The second delay is a little bit shorter delay, a little bit more of like a, whatever you want. More of like a slap back. Okay, let's turn that off. Let's go to the second bank of effects, which is going to be more of your um, chorus, flanger, and tremolo. That's the first chorus, second one. Back off a little bit on the raid and the level. The chorus is nice. The flanger. If you wanted to turn up the flanger a little bit. And Okay, and then you got the tremolo. Mysterious right there. Uh, now we have the boost feature, so I'm just gonna go to kind of a flat sound for that. 
So this is just straight without effects with the with the compression a little bit. Before, after. And again, you can set that to be whatever you want it to be. You know, I. For me, it's the only problem with the boost features that once I turn it on, I just kind of leave it. <laughs> I kind of leave it on. But the point is, is to be able to have it be uh, incremental boost and gain when you need it. Um, so there you have it. That's the the tone deck. It's a preamp. It's an EQ. It's a DI all rolled into one. Uh, the effects sound great. The compressor is magnificent. You can dial in your tone. You can just use it as a straight DI and not use the effects at all, or you can do it like I'm doing right now, where we're plugging out of it and you're hearing all the effects. Uh, it's good for what we like to call the throw and go. You bring your acoustic guitar, you plug into this, plug it into the uh, the mains, get a little bit in the uh, the monitors as I'm doing right now, and away you go. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Cock here, Craft Music, beautiful Franklin, Wisconsin, on behalf of our friends from Fishman, playing the Tone Deck preamp EQ and DI. Take it easy. <laughs>